She talks. She listens. She cares. She's Joyce Oglesby. In today's ever-changing world, Joyce takes on the hottest issues. She fights for what's right in America. I wanna leave a legacy. How will they remember me? Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction. Window World. Nans and Crafts Florists. Squire Boone Caverns. And About Face Spa and Salon. Now, just ask Joyce. Leave that kind of legacy. Welcome to Just Ask Joyce. I'm Joyce Oglesby, your family life fix it pro. And hey, Christmas is over and Happy New Year to you. Now, of course, when a new year comes in, what do we think? We always think, I'm going to do this year better than I did last year. And so we make all these resolutions, don't we? Well, I'm going to help you a little bit with your resolutions this year. These are some really good tips that you can live by day in and day out, year in and year out. And I'll, they won't weigh you down, I can tell you. I, I don't know how I feel about resolutions. Well, I kind of do know how I feel about them. I don't like them. Because so many times I will set myself lofty goals and then I don't come through with them because they were too lofty. They were too demanding. They were too, just too hefty for me to carry around and do day in and day out. And so I just kind of decided that, you know, maybe New Year's resolutions aren't what I need to deal with. But I did come up with some A through Z, my A, B, C, and A through Z resolutions for you. And I want to jump right in today because this is something that you can take with you again all year long. All right, let's just dig in because uh, Garrett has done a great job on our graphics today. And I can tell you, you're just going to love this. So get your pen and pencil or pen and paper or whatever, just, but you want to write these down, all right? A, absolve. Absolve yourself of the pressures of resolutions, all right? I've already set the stage for that. Because, you know, sometimes we do heap upon ourselves too many things that we want to do, and, and we know in our hearts that we can't achieve those. And so they become encumbering. And then we have the guilt of failure, uh, you know, and that's just no way to start a new year. All right, uh, B, let's do this. B, your broaden your friend base. Broaden your friend base. Best friends are rare and they should be. But solid friends are important. They are important. Um, it's the steadfast friends who you rarely spend quali quality time with, but, you, but they know your character and that, that those are the friends that you can count on around the clock. Now, some of you are blessed with those quality friends that are your best friends. But, you know, broaden your friend base and make sure that you have friends everywhere you go. And how to broaden your friend base is to be a really good friend yourself. All right, C, challenge your ambitious nature. And if you don't possess one of those, then challenge yourself to become determined that you're going to you know, just embrace challenges because growth is almost certain not to occur without a seed of motivation. So decide that you're going to do that this year. And then D, discipline yourself. Nobody likes to do that, do we? We just don't like it. Ordering up your life is a key ingredient to success. And you don't order up your life without some discipline in place. And whether your goal is to become a successful spouse, parent, scientist, doctor, lawyer, or just a friend, you know, decide that, to, that you have to establish a commitment to your desire, and, and that is going to be a really good way to achieve that goal, right? Discipline yourself. And then E, nobody wants to do this, do we? <laughs> but we have to. We're so aware of it. Eat healthier. People are not invincible. We're just not, you know, and we're exposed to so many toxins today, more so than ever before. So we have to be aware of what we are taking in our bodies. And the older one gets, the quicker the toll, regardless of how young you are. So just make sure you know, that you want, you want to stay young forever, don't you? The best way to do that is to eat 
healthy, all right? And then F, let's go right to it. Feed your fancy. Feed your fancy now. I just said eat healthier, feed your fancy. Distractions in life can keep you from enjoying life's simple pleasures. Distractions. You know, I, I don't want you to indulge in distractions, but I do not want you to forget to indulge in yourself occasionally, you know, just with some pastimes throughout the year. I think sometimes we drive ourselves work, 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 and we don't think about maybe indulging in some of those pleasures. So feed your fancy as well. And then G, guard your heart. Guard your heart. Remember, your heart is fragile. We are built by the Creator to desire love and companionship. But we have to recognize when relationships compromise us emotionally, physically, and even spiritually. All right? So just make sure that you guard your heart. Protect it from bad relationships. Get in touch with me and I'll help you out with that. Now, H, honor your parents. You know, I love that. I love honor your parents. Why do I love that? You know, it's one of the commandments, but it is the only commandment with a promise. God says, if you honor your parents, you will live a long life. You will live a long life. And so there is much validation behind that. And I know, you know, sometimes it's hard to respect your parents because maybe they're not the best parents. That, and, and, you know, and I, and I can attest to that you know, on a personal level. But I did always honor my parents, regardless of whether I respected them. Right? And then I, invest your time wisely. I am such a time manager. And I know people have less time these days than they do dollars. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? We're all scrambling for time. And, you know, I, I think sometimes we cram 30 hours of obligation into a 24-hour day. We, we, we just have to manage our time a little bit better. Make sure your time is invested in things that count. God first, then family, then work, then friends. And, you know, sleep is good for you, you know. I mean, and sleep is your time. It's good time for you. But enjoy an hour yourself a week. And, and I'll tell you, if you'll invest in that for you, the return will be great. But invest your time wisely. Let's don't just idle away the hours. There's so much to do. But I can tell you as a Family Life Fix-It Pro, I want you to spend quality time with your family. There is no greater investment. We're going to go to a quick break after that. And make sure that you, if you miss this, now get your pen and paper and we'll go through the rest of the alphabet with some of these resolutions for right here on this. You're watching Just Ask Joyce, where real life and family values connect. Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction, Window World, Nans and Crafts Florists, Squire Boone Caverns, and About Face Spa and Salon. I just want to take a moment to thank Nans and Craft. You know, they have just been such a fabulous sponsor of Just Ask Joyce ever since I've started. Eddie Craft and his team over there are just the bomb. I love them. They always grace the table of Just Ask Joyce beautifully. And make sure that you call them and tell them that you just saw their handiwork on Just Ask Joyce and you want to order something for a loved one or any occasion that you need. Make sure you call Nans and Craft. And I just want to say a big thank you for making a great year for Just Ask Joyce. And they're going to go right into this next year with me as well. So thank you so much, Nans and Craft. All right, we're going through the resolutions, ABC resolutions for life. And if you've missed any of the first part, go back and catch them on YouTube when it comes up. Or, hey, catch the next episode of the show, which shows many times throughout a two-week period. So make sure you catch it. All right, and we've gone through A through something now. We're up to J. A through I. Good, good job, Jason. A through I, now we're on J. So what is it? Justify a cause before plunging in. Justify a cause. You know what? Make sure your presence on a committee or an organization or a club is necessary and that you can meet the appropriate demands. Everyone loses when you can't. Sometimes we just sign up for too much, guys. We just do too much and we don't maximize our time correctly. And guess who suffers? 
when we sign up for too much, guess who suffers? You're right, your family. And so take a look at that and see if maybe if you're on too, too many committees and downsize a little bit. Keep your word, okay, keep your word. Keep it. Um, you're no better than what you promise to be. And dads, I'm gonna say this, and moms, you listen to me. If you've promised your kids something, you better doggone well come through with it because they're gonna remember that you didn't. And they'll remember that you did. And so make sure that you keep your word. And I can tell you, when I look for friends, I always look for people with integrity. It goes a long, long way. L, love like it's your last chance. Again, Garrett did such a great job on these. Isn't that just great? It may well be the last time you get a chance to love. You know what? A lot of people, I mean, I've, you know, on, on, in my travels, I, I pass accidents, and I, I thank God that I'm not involved in them myself. But some of them are tragic. Some people are never coming back home to get a hug or to say I love you or to hear I love you. So make sure that you do that. You love like it is your last chance because it well could be. And the M, make time for family. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Make time for family. Time will rob you like a thief of priceless memories that you should have made with your loved ones. They will be grown and gone and you will look back and say, why didn't I do more with them? I mean, our kids are growing up before our very eyes, so make sure that you make your time for family count. It's the most valuable blessing that you have from God, so make sure um, that you meet their needs, and when they're unmet by you, sometimes they land in the laps of others, and that's regardless if it's a spouse or a kid. A kid's going to find somebody that's going to love them like a parent, but you want it to be you, don't you? All right, and then, do we have another one? Notice the small things. Notice the small things. You'll soon discover you are abundantly rich in favor. Don't wait to be stricken with poor health or the loss of a loved one or a financial loss to understand that you have abundant blessings. Notice the small things and appreciate those. You know, freckles and, and kindness and and eating, you know, Yes, eating on your good china. I love taking out my china and eating it for just an everyday meal. And my kids remember it, and so do my grandkids. They love it. And the way kids love puppies, just remember that. Just notice those small things. And then open your ears. Listen intently to those you love. Listen intently to them. Hear what your children talk about with their friends. Listen to it. And pay attention to your spouse's grumbling. There are messages there as well. Now, P, play with your kids and grandkids while you can. I kind of touched on that just a moment ago. Pretty soon, they won't want you to, and you won't be able to either. <laughs> so make sure you play with your kids. We're going to go to a quick break. We're going to come back, and we're going to pick up with these ABC resolutions for your 2018 year. Compliments of Just Ask Choice. Don't go away. Thank you so much for joining me today, your Family Life Fix-It Pro. I am Joyce Oglesby of the Just Ask Joyce Show. We are going through ABC Resolutions for Living, the 2018 version of Just Ask Joyce. And I just want you to make sure that you get all of these. If you've missed any of them, catch the show the next time you, it, it runs or go to my YouTube when it's posted there and you can catch them here. But we are up to Q now. And Q's a hard one, right? Oh, maybe not. Qualify your motives. I love this. Qualify your motives. If you pass the litmus test of pure and legit, if you pass that, you won't have to worry about others questioning your intention. So qualify your motives. All right, restore for number R, or letter R, restore harmony when possible. You know what? It's not always simple to do, but certainly it's best to maintain accord in any relationship. And just make sure that you do. The sooner it can be, um, repaired or any kind of broken relationship, the better it's going to be in the end. Time brings stubborn distance. Did you hear me? 
Time brings stubborn distance, and with distance, the music stops. So make sure that you restore harmony in your relationships. S, save money. Yes, save money. Rainy days come for everyone. Make sure you save some money. I know a lot of people you know, just spend. Their, they, it burns a hole in their pocket, but save. T, thank people. Thank people. I tell you why. I love my little booker. My little booker grandson, he is the most grateful child you will ever meet. He thanks you for everything. And it just warms my heart. Gratitude is a gauge of great character. I tell him that all the time. And Booker, you have a wonderful thread of character through you because you are a grateful child. It's encouraging to a giver. And, you know, when we just get gratefulness and a big old thanks back, it's just so cool. We may think we achieve things on our own. But there is always someone behind the victory who deserves appreciation. So make sure you thank someone. Go into a quick break and we'll come back and wrap up the show, the ABC Resolutions for 2018 on Just As Choice. Welcome back to Just Ask Joyce. Thank you so much for joining me for the ABC Resolutions of Living. It's really an A through Z plan for you. I love it. We're up to you, all right? So what am I going to do for you? Unearth the real you. Unearth the real you. Living out of passion is a dream to which most everyone aspires for, and, and few people will reach their full potential. You know what? Fear of failure is their only problem. So unearth the real you in 2018. And then V, vocalize your needs. You know what? People aren't mind readers. I don't care if it's your spouse, if it's your kids, if it's your friends. People aren't mind readers. Just if it's your boss or an employee, just vocalize your, your, your needs and your desires. And most relationships would be salvaged, I find, with proper communication. It's just something that works in every relationship regardless of what you're trying to do don't confuse your needs with selfish desires and that's a good rule of thumb it's always best to ensure you're meeting the other's needs as well and a one-sided vocal exchange gets pretty monotonous so talk it takes two to talk you don't do all the talking all right but vocalize your needs and then w wait on answers wait on answers convenience has spoiled us as Americans in particular, we want everything immediately, including decisions on serious issues. Why do we want it to happen immediately? Sometimes we just have to wait on a good answer. You know, God, we kind of expect God to give us this post-haste answer, or post-haste response to, to our prayers to him. That's not the way God works. It's his timeline. And so if we can just kind of remember that we need to let things happen and let them simmer, let them wait. And I'll tell you what, typically we find that whatever needed resolving yesterday is still waiting for us tomorrow. Right? Or it's just going to get taken care of and it's going to resolve itself and so you've worried for nothing. So wait on answers. Sometimes you'll get the better one if you are patient. X-ray your decisions. Every decision that you make, X-ray it. The ability to foresee the future would be great, but none of us have that capability. Only God knows the future. But you can look at situations from different angles and weigh the possibilities with the knowledge you have. Just dink, dink, dink. It worked for Winnie the Pooh, remember? Dink. All right, yearn for knowledge. Information brings understanding. So yearn for knowledge. You know, just read and explore it and find out facts before you go spouting off your mouth, for one thing. But, you know, yearn for knowledge because it does bring understanding and comprehension yields peace of mind. And then finally, Z. Zero in on the brevity of life. It narrows your target audience. When you consider how short life is, then it really does narrow your target audience of who you're going to you know, make time for and share love with and laughter and communicate with. So make sure that you practice these A to Z resolutions for 2018 brought to you from me, 
just ask Joyce. And if you, again, if you have a relationship issue, will you just write me, just ask Joyce at gmail.com. The number is up on the screen. You can call me and I will respond to you. I want you to have the best new year possible. And you know what? A lot of it depends on us. We control ourselves. We can't control others, but we control ourselves. And so what we do to make this year better is up to us. All right? That's a tip from Just Ask Joyce. Until next time, I'm in battle for his call.